Hi, I'm Brittany, and in this video I want to talk about what it means to have your Jupiter in Cancer and how lucky you are to have this amazing placement. Um, so what is Jupiter? Jupiter is our joy. It represents something where we are naturally good at and when we develop the qualities of our Jupiter sign, we will increase our self-confidence. So it's really good to know your Jupiter sign and it's where you can take risks as well. Um, so people with Jupiter and Cancer are very centered in their emotions actually and it does a wonderful thing to the emotions is it makes them bigger but usually in a more positive way. So there's a lot of good positive feelings towards the home and family. So I mean not 100% of the time are they going to have a good childhood but it's likely that they had some beneficial surroundings or something in the childhood that gave them hope and faith in life and in themselves. And um, so there's a lot of emotional involvement with family, whether or not they end up having their own family um, or not. Um, if they do have their own family or they become mothers and fathers, they're just, they're wonderful parents. And um, wonderful with cooking, the women are, and even men with this placement can be wonderful at cooking. Um, but if they aren't interested in any of that, let's say they just um, have a lot of Aquarius or something that's not so centered in the home in their chart, they're, they still have a side to themselves that is very personable and friendly. And you just like these people and they have a warmth to them that is just like, you just feel like they're good people. And I think that they have good souls. Like, to have this placement, because Jupiter is exalted in Cancer, meaning that it is the best placement to have Jupiter. And um, that's because of the positive feelings that this creates. And it's not Jupiter like how Jupiter and Sag, the ruler, where you're a very positive person, but you can be inconsiderate of others' feelings a bit, because you're off in your own dreamland, fun world. People with Jupiter and Cancer are positive, but they can also be there right with you, emotionally relating, making you feel nurtured, cared for, protected, mothered, and even the men with this placement do this. So this is, it's just, it's wonderful to have Jupiter in Cancer. And it also gives you a lot of um, ability to look at your own emotions and be a, a healer for them. So yeah, and, but it is a very emotional placement. So, um, and you can also be, if you have this placement, a little bit more timid, shy, or a little bit too um, inward. So you can have some fears and kind of let them take over because Jupiter makes everything bigger. But people are still going to like you. And there's something about you that is just so damn nice. And people will like you on an instant. Like there's just a caring, nurturing presence that you have. And... Um, yeah, you're very good with the home and family life. You're very good with dealing with emotions and having more positive emotions and relating to people one-on-one -on -one like you're their brother or something. You're not um, above them or below them. You're just, we're all brothers. And people with this placement do that. And it's, it's very nice. And they actually do quite well with the public. Even though Jupiter and Cancer, you would think the 4th house, you would think the home and family, not the 10th house, the public. But something about this placement, they're just very well liked by the public and a lot of famous musicians. And I think I just read Paul McCartney, George Harrison, like Beatles. They were able to um, give their heart out in such a way that the public just like screamed for them. They just... They ate it up. They loved it, right? And it, it's because those positive feelings they shared with the world. Um, and they were personable. They were relatable. It wasn't like they were these big stars that you felt like you had nothing in common with. It was like their songs were so relatable and you felt them in your heart. And that's what people with this placement do. They make you feel something in your heart. So they can become quite famous if they desired that. Um, because they just have that connection with people. Um, what else? What else? There can be weight gain 
you can have Jupiter in the sign of Cancer and overeat because maybe you are so damn good at cooking and you just love baking and you eat a whole lot. But also, there's a thing here. If you're holding on to too many negative emotions, it can get big too. And I've seen this with Saturn and Cancer as well. Um, it's, yeah, if you hang on to negative emotions, you can actually enlarge the body. But you don't have to listen to me. It's just something I've read in my metaphysical health books. But um, anyway, so there is a tendency with Jupiter and Cancer to hold on to the feelings too much. Because we're living in a world where it's not openly, um, it's not something that you can openly express your feelings. Like, you, we're not able to just go walk around and express our love to everybody that we see and express our negative feelings. It's, we're kind of more closed off. So Jupiter and Cancer people needs a close-knit group of friends where they can really be themselves and be themselves and express those positive or negative feelings. And they will likely end up finding that because they're lovely people to be around and they're they're kind hearted. They're nice people. And um, they will nurture you and feed you and make you feel loved. So it's a really nice placement to have because it brings those positive qualities to Ju of Jupiter in a more personable way. Um, so it's just wonderful for healing and having this type of person around you can really open up emotionally and be your real self and feel loved and, and heard so it's really lovely what else what else on the negative side yeah there can be too much attachment to the family and emotions and um maybe they, these people never really let out their true self because it is kind of a more shy or inward placement but if they do let out their true self they're likely going to be loved and respected and maybe even honored by others at some point because like I said this is such a nice placement to have and if you have it you have good soul powers in this lifetime and actually my favorite aunt has this placement and um, I love her dearly but she's a Capricorn Sun so she's got that going on she's very Capricorn like but then there is the sweet sensitive side where she's always been there for me she's always wanted to help me with things and she was a teacher actually so they can be very good with kids this placement as well I don't know if I mentioned that they're very good with kids because they just have such a warmth in their heart even if they're a Capricorn Sun they have a warmth in their heart so lovely placement and comment if this was accurate if it wasn't let me know what you think thanks for watching bye bye